I want to take a moment to explain why it's so important to clean the like scrap and purge pieces out from the bottom of your printer. This is specifically for the Bamboo X1C and that like ecosystem of printers but can apply to others that have similar core XY and bed movement. Here's the inside of our 3D printer. We have our bed that moves up and down, these lead screws that twist, and then the bushing in here and bearings that allow that rotational movement to be converted into linear motion. Now I want to highly emphasize these holes right where the linear rods exist. I keep this system aligned. When you have a bunch of filament scraps and garbage in your bed, over time on accident they can migrate and fall into this hole. Now, why is this a problem? So sometimes your printer will bed level and move the bed all the way to the bottom. As you can see, we have these bearings right here that sit flush with the top of this bracket. When you have filament scraps in this hole and the printer bed moves all the way down, these scraps will prevent it from fully hitting the base of this hole. And sometimes, even dislodge this bearing, making it stick up higher out of this bracket. If this linear bearing sits above this bracket like this, it will contact this bracket up here sooner than it's intended, making your bed unlevel and your printer will throw an error saying that it was unable to level. That is why you should clean all the little filament scraps from the bottom of your printer because it can totally mess up the bed leveling of your system. And when it starts giving you an error of can't level bed, you start scratching your head of what exactly went wrong. And at least for me, the linear bearing being dislodged was the last issue I thought I was going to have. So if you run into the problem where your linear bearing is now dislodged above that bracket, it's a fairly easy fix, but will kind of make a little bit of noise. You don't need any special tools except for the controls on the screen of your 3D printer. First step is to make sure you clean the base of your printer and then remove any of the filament debris that might be within the recessed hole where that linear rod goes into the base of the printer. It's just a matter of going into your system controls and hitting the bed up 10 until that linear bearing here is back into place. Cleaning your printer is fairly easy, just use a vacuum cleaner. And if you're in the workshop or an office area, you can get a mini vacuum like this one on Amazon and just store it right next to your printer so you're reminded to clean it often.